In this video, we're gonna continue working on our Django project, our real-time chat website. We're working on the friend request system, so sending friend requests, accepting friend requests, getting friend requests, everything to do with friend requests. And in this video, we're gonna work on declining friend requests. So if, if I if I wanna be your friend, I send you a friend request, and you're like, no, 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 Mitch, uh, we, we can't be friends, you would then decline that friend request. That's what we're gonna be working on in this video. So this is uh, very similar to what we've been doing in the past couple of videos. We need to build uh, an Ajax kind of request or function that we can then call and uh, decline a friend request. So same kind of thing, we're gonna build a function down at the bottom called decline friend request, build a URL, build the JavaScript for it, and then add it to whatever templates that we're gonna be using it in. So let's get started. So define a decline friend request, and it'll take request and the arguments and the keyword arguments. Like always, user equals request dot user. Then we have the payload and set that equal to an empty Python dictionary. And this is request dot user, not request dot user ID. Now we're gonna do a get request. Uh, by the way, actually, before I write this out, uh, notice that up here, you know, this one was a post request. This one was a get request. You know, I think this one was a post request. This is all kind of arbitrary. You know, you could have done them all as post requests if you wanted to, which probably would have been the best way because then the payload is attached or the, the variables are attached to the post request as like a hidden payload. But uh, I kind of just want to show you different ways to do it. You know, like this one's a post request. This one's a get request. It really doesn't matter. It's just, it's just going to differ with respect to how you get the the payload basically like this one you got to access the keyword arguments so you have it in the url whereas the like remove friend is going to be a post request where you can access it from the payload of the request itself it doesn't really matter to be honest you know it's kind of whatever you choose to do there's just subtle differences between the two i kind of just realized that i was doing that and i didn't explain it so i thought i would take a second and just kind of let you know that it's pretty much arbitrary no no real reason behind it other than just showing you different ways to do things so friend request id we're going to get that from the keyword arguments because we're using a get request so friend request id and remember when we send a friend request there's always going to be a friend request id associated with that request because that's the the table in the database so now i want to get that friend request so friend request equals friend request dot objects dot get primary key is going to equal that friend request id that i just defined now I want to confirm that it's the correct request. So confirm that it is the correct request. Or in other words, it's, it's the request that I'm allowed to decline. So if friend request dot receiver equals me, the authenticated user, then that means yes, I have the I'm allowed to decline this request. Because otherwise, if it's not mine, I shouldn't be able to decline it. So found the request now decline it by the way let me know if this font size is okay i'm actually going to increase it one i think that's the one i've been using in all the videos but i i don't i'm not sure if off camera i decreased it so just uh let me know if, if the font size is okay for you guys because i know it's, it big the bigger the better is probably what you want so now i want to decline this so i can do friend whoops i wrote request i can do friend uh, request dot decline and later, just like with the uh, removing friend, or was it remove friend? I think it was remove friend. Um, there's a notification that is gonna be associated. Oh no, it'll be with the accept. So with the accept case, there's actually a notification that's associated. Later, there'll be a notification that's associated with accepting. There'll also be a notification that'll be associated with declining. So later, we're gonna be working on that. Uh, but for now, we just wanna call friend request dot decline, which is a function inside of our friend request model. So if we go down here, there's friend request, we have accept, and we have decline. So we're just calling that decline function. So now payload, we wanna set set our response like we've been doing with all of the other kind of uh, payloads that we get from Ajax. And I'm just gonna say friend request declined and do a period. Now I'm gonna copy this because we're gonna need this kind of payload keyword a couple more times in this function. So otherwise payload equals something went wrong. And we have a bunch of other else cases that we need to handle also. So this one would be, you know, this is not your friend request to decline. So that is not your friend request to decline. Also, I need to turn on word wrapping because that's probably not on. There we go. Uh, and then the last one or the last two, I guess I should say, this one will be unable to, so unable to decline that friend request. 
and now the last one here. This should theoretically never happen. There should be no way that they ever this ever gets executed in a on the website if they don't have access to this particular kind of function, but let's just handle that case anyway. So you must be authenticated to decline a friend request. So yeah, theoretically it should never happen, but might as well handle it anyway. Now HTTP response, JSON dumps the payload, and then we wanna set the content type like we've been doing. So application slash JSON. So that's it. That's another function for uh, using with Ajax. So pressing control S on that and now going to urls.py and import that new function. So decline friend request. Let me just double check to make sure I got that right. Decline friend request. Yep, putting that in there. Let's put a comma and let's keep with kind of how we've been building this. I'm going to do uh, decline friend request and we have a friend request ID and then pass decline friend request. You know, in the source code, by the way, I think, oh, I need to word wrap this also. In the source code, I think I named these differently. It doesn't really matter as long as you, as you use the Django shortcut to access it. So um, the thing that matters is just the name. So make sure that like friend request accept and friend request decline, make sure those are correct. The URL itself doesn't matter. Like I said, as long as you access it using the URL shortcut. And what I mean by the URL shortcut is like, if we go into, um, go into friend request, for example, and we go down to the bottom here, uh, wherever we use that, so that would be like the accept friend request function. So that would be like in here, this URL shortcut. We've got to make sure that you use the correct one there. Um, as long as you use that, it doesn't really matter like if yours matches my source code exactly because that's the URL that will be used. So now pressing control S on that. Now let's build the JavaScript for this. So go into the friend app, go into snippets, new file, and we'll call this decline friend, decline friend request.html. So just like the other ones, open up a script tag and we want to do a function. So give it a name, function, decline friend request. And the arguments that it'll take is the friend request ID. So friend request underscore ID. And then our UI update function. So same kind of thing we've been doing before. Nothing really different here. Now we want to do that kind of uh, that URL or that substitution that we did with the accept. So I'm actually going to go into the accept friend request function. I'm going to copy this URL, go into our decline friend request, and just change this to decline. And that should be all that we need to do. We just are doing the same thing. We're, we're adding the friend request ID as an argument, but we wanna change this to the decline URL shortcut, not the accept URL shortcut. Now we need to define the Ajax request. So dollar sign dot Ajax, open it up, squiggly braces. We wanna do a get request for this one. This data type is going to be JSON, just like all of the other ones. We have the URL that we just defined up there. We'll do timeout equals 5,000 milliseconds or five seconds, just like we've been doing with all of the other ones. Then we have our three cases. So we have success, function, data, open this up, and then add a comma, and we wanna copy this uh, two more times. Whoops, I did not need a space there. This will be the error case, and then this will be the complete case. So same kind of thing that we've been doing, nothing different here with this Ajax request. And then again, if the data.response equals friend, well, we can copy that from the view to make sure that we don't spell that incorrectly. Friend request declined, this should say. Friend request declined, oh, make sure to save that. So friend request declined, then we know that we're good. In that case, we don't wanna do anything. We know that everything worked exactly as we in intended it to. But if the response does not equal null, uh, and it's not equal to the success case, that means we have an error, something went wrong. So alert uh, data.response. And then obviously the error case is also, you know, something went wrong. So you can just say something went wrong and print out the error or say something went wrong, whatever, it's totally up to you. Now UI complete or UI update complete and invoke that and then we're, we're good to go. So here's our new Ajax request for declining a friend request. You know, I think I actually made this too big. I think that's probably the size it was before. So control S on that, and now we need to use these. So let's go into uh, friendrequest.html and comment this in. So friend snippets decline friend request.html. And now we can call this function decline friend request. That looks all good. And press control S on that. And the last file that we're gonna edit is account.html. So scrolling down to the bottom of this file, look for the decline friend request snippet. Make sure we have friend in front of snippet. So it goes friend snippets, then decline friend request. Then we wanna call decline friend request, that new function that we just built, inside of trigger decline friend request. Let's just make sure that this is being called in the correct place. So if I press control F on that and I search for that, 
we have it used inside of this them to you case. So if they sent you a friend request and you're looking at their profile, then you should be able to decline it, which is correct. So hopefully all of these variables are good. I'm gonna assume that they were because they were working with the accept friend request case. So pressing control S on that. Now let's go to our development environment and take a look if everything's working. So I don't know if I even have any friend requests, so let me take a look. No, I don't. So I'm going to open up an incognito window and I'm gonna log in with a user who I'm not friends with. So it looks like I only have one friend. So I'm gonna try and hopefully guess uh, to log in one of, with one of my dummy users. I think Florian is one of them. So let's let's log in with Florian. And it looks like he doesn't have a profile picture set, but that's okay. I can still do the friend stuff. So let's go to Mitch's and oh, damn. Okay, well, this, this works actually just as good. So I'll click on the X here and that should decline the friend request but it looks like it says something went wrong. So if something went wrong, uh, let's take a look at the log and see what happened. So let's open up our log here. It says the view uh, declined friend request, didn't return an HTTP response object. It returned none instead. Okay, so if we go to our views.py and scroll down to decline friend request, apparently this returned none and that's true because it looks like I forgot to return that. So pressing control S on that. Uh, let's go back to our development server. Oh, so it looks like everything actually worked. It just the, the return value didn't because we got pretty far in our view. So it went through the logic. It just didn't return anything. So everything worked. It just didn't look like it worked. So it, that was actually good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send me a friend request from Florian. Now I'm going to go to my account and refresh this. There we go. That's that new friend request from Florian. So if I go to friend request, there's Florian. He has no profile picture, so nothing's showing there. Um, so let's uh, let's click decline on this and there we go. It looks like it was declined It says I have no results now and if I go back to my profile that friend request is gone So just to test the other kind of view Let me let me refresh this notice now in Florian's perspective that friend request was declined I'm gonna send another one and go back refresh it again. Looks like I got that So now I'm gonna search Florian. I'm gonna go to his profile. He has no profile picture So that's that's whatever though. That doesn't matter now I'm gonna decline it from his profile. So if I click that, boom, there we go, it was declined. So that's it, that's declining a friend request. Now in the next video, we're gonna work on canceling a friend request. So I'll quickly show you what that's gonna look like. So canceling a friend request would look like this. If I sent Florian a friend request, and then I click this cancel button to cancel the request that I sent out to him. And of course, quickly before we go to the next video, I gotta remind you, go to codingwithmitch.com and watch this course there. I track your progress. I give you a written form of this of this video in case you you know get bored of listening to me talk and you want to just read instead. You can go and read the lecture in written form instead of listening to me. Um, I said we track your progress. Also, there's source code links to the code changes that we make in every video. Much more convenient way to watch it. It's free. Go to codingwithmitch.com. I'll see you in the next video.